and Manchester United were also keen. I said, well, my son, it's your life. I said, you go where you want to go. I said, it's your life. And we was hoping that Duncan would go to the, one of the lot, lot, to the Wolves, personally. And he went straight from school to United. Uh, there was a presentation to Duncan at the um, Dudley Technical College. And uh, who made the presentation to him was the famous Wolves goalkeeper, Bert Williams. And it was at that meeting that he, we were told that he was at signed for Manchester United, I believe, that day. The morning after his 16th birthday, the 2nd of October, 1952, at 2 a.m., Duncan signed for Manchester United. The nucleus of the legendary Busby Babes was now in place. Former teammate Bill Folkes recalls his first meeting with the United's new star. The first uh, time I met Dunk was, um, I was a part-time player and we used to train twice a week in Manchester, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And one Thursday afternoon, Duncan showed up uh, as a schoolboy and we couldn't believe uh, the ability that he had and uh, the strength and maturity of a schoolboy. And that was my first impression of Duncan. And well, I first saw Duncan Edwards play for England schoolboys and he was an outstanding young player, captain England schoolboys the year before I did. And he joined Manchester United and I was in doubt whether to join Manchester United at that time because they had so many good players. But I went to see them play Wolverhampton Wanderers in the final of the Youth Cup, which they won 7-2. And I saw this giant playing at left half. I was a right half at that time. And I thought it'd be marvellous to play in the same team as this guy because he was so outstanding. And uh, that was my main reason for joining Manchester United.